Welcome to another ABS online video. Let's go and find out what we're going to learn today. Crazy fun in week 22. Here we are in another review week. We've had them before. They're very busy, but we find out all the great things you can remember. So what do we look at? Ah, well, I think actually you know the answer. Everything. Everything that we have looked at. Everything we've looked at in the last seven weeks. So it's not really that difficult. I think we've done some really, really good things recently. So, how can we do everything? Well, we don't look at every single word. That would be many, many hours. It's a summary. Yay, a summary. That means we make everything shorter. Ah, there we are. So, over the last few weeks, we've looked at things carefully. Now, we're just going to try and remember some of it. Or maybe lots of it. As much as we can, in the time we have. So, let's get going. What came first? Oh, we've got a special word there. We went to a music concert. That was really fun. It was beautiful. It was classical music. Classical music is maybe something we don't hear very often, but it really is so beautiful. Hmm, that special word. Why? Why is that word underlined? Hmm, it was quite important, wasn't it? But why? We had to get in order. We used words and phrases that show where things happen in time order. And many times I would call them time order words and phrases. A phrase is more than one word, but less than a sentence. We can use first, but we can also say prior to. Hmm, that's great. Prior to. That is just another way of saying before that. So I could say, I came to school at seven o'clock. Prior to that, I was in my car. So, first is a really easy word and a bit boring if we use it too much. So we looked at lots of other words that were great. So, before that, prior to. Let's look at some more. We used a lot of them. Initially, we were told about the concert by our teacher. Thank you. Soon after that, we asked who wanted to go to the concert. Lots of friends. That's good. Finally, we bought tickets. So here we've got something at the start 
something in the middle and something at the end. That's the right time order. Let's look at those special words. Initially. Soon after that. Finally. They're all good, aren't they? Ah, what if you are a performer? Our friend started to learn the violin at the age of six. Wow! Now, if we just want to go and watch the concert, well, we have to do things in the right order, but it doesn't really take a long time. But if you want to be a performer, that is a very, very long time. She started when she was six. Up until that time, she had never seen a violin. Now we really do have a phrase there. Up until that time. If it's a phrase, we can't use it on its own. If I just said up until that time, well, that doesn't really mean anything on its own. But all those words go together to make a time order phrase. We need some more. Up until that time, she had never seen a violin. Now we've got a great sentence. Did she like it? I think she probably did if she's still playing. Gradually, she got better and better. She found a local orchestra and instantly joined. Let's look at gradually. That means slowly, over a long time. Instantly. That means straight away. She loved it. After a lot of practice and just before the concert, there is a dress rehearsal. It's like a real full concert, but no one is watching. Just to make sure you get everything right. Immediately before going on stage, the musicians have to tune their instruments. Some more time order words and phrases. Any that you don't really understand, try and use them later. Is she ready? Up until that time, they were all nervous, but now they know what they have to do. Right after the final note, the cheers filled everyone with so much happiness. What a great evening. Then we went to the hospital. Oh dear. The performer didn't go to the hospital. No, we did. After going to the concert, we looked at something different. We talked about what happens when we have a medical problem. Oh dear. We need the help of adults. But we don't go running off to the hospital straight away. No, the doctors are very busy. We only go to the hospital if we really do have a problem. Again, you had to get things in order. This time, it was a bit more difficult. You had to do the thinking. 
It really hurt. My mum looked at it. My ear was really red. Now that is not in the right order. What order should it be in? Hmm. Can you think? We've got to get it in the right order. It all started when my ear was really red. What's next? It really hurt. And what happened next? As soon as my mum knew, she looked at it. Well, there we are. Now we've got it in order. And when we read it like that, it sounds much better. Your mum's not going to look at your ear before it hurt. Hmm. Get things in the right order. Then we went really big. It was global. Wow! We looked at problems. We talked about recycling. Recycling. Now, this is a really, really important thing to talk about. Our planet Earth is very special. We don't know of anywhere else in all of the universe where things live. Maybe this is the only place where there is life. Now, we are the smartest animals on our planet. We should be taking care of it. But we make lots of rubbish. Every day, every person makes lots of rubbish. It's making our beautiful planet dirty. Now we can't just stop using things, but we could do some recycling. It's not easy though. Yeah, it's really big. But what does recycle really mean? Hmm. It means collecting materials that are usually thrown away and turning them into new products. Then we can use them again. And it doesn't make dirty, smelly trash. That sounds like a good idea. If we can do it. We looked at suffixes. It's a good word, isn't it? Suffixes. What is a suffix? Ah, plus. If we add a bit to the end of the word and it changes the meaning, it's called a suffix. A suffix. So we take a word and we add a little bit more. Usually the first word is easy and you probably know it already. A word like use. We can then make it useful or useless. Now I'm sure you know those words. Well, that's the word use with a suffix. 
We looked at glass first, recycling glass. This is a good one to look at because it's not too difficult and we can use glass again and again and again. Glass is 100% recyclable. Mmm, that is great. All glass we can recycle many times to make new glass. What do you do first? Upon arrival at the plant, they have to be separated into different colours. Now can you see, we've already got two suffixes. A ball has been added to the word recycle and O has been added to the word arrive. That's great. These words are really useful. Oh, there's another one. Useful. Useful. But what did the suffixes mean? Recyclable. A bull means it can be. It can be recycled. We can also say it's usable. It can be used. A bull. Okay. Arrival. O means related to. It will arrive. Here we have the arrival of the bus. Two good suffixes. I think that the suffix often sounds a little bit different to how it's spelt. It's not able, it's a ball. And it's not al, it's o. So maybe we need to practice with the suffix words. A couple more. Industry wide. Wide means used everywhere. It is done all over the industry. Maybe you've heard the word worldwide. So we could say that recycling is a worldwide problem. It happens all over the world. Well, it's a problem because we don't really do enough of it. It's worldwide. Scientist. Ist means someone who is good at something. He or she is good at science. What about dentist? Dentist. We know what a dentist is, but there we've got dent with ist. Dent comes from the word dental, which means in your mouth, your teeth. A dentist is someone who is good with teeth. Ist. Now, after glass, Next came paper. We use paper every day. I really try and actually use all the paper. I don't write a few words on the paper and then throw it away. No, I try and use as much as I can before I try to recycle it. Collection was again the first step. This time, separation 
was of the uppermost importance. Wow, three suffixes in one sentence. Now, that shows us how important the suffix is. How important it is to understand what they mean. We looked at some good ones. Uppermost. Most means the superlative. The very highest. Yes. He is the uppermost teacher. Hmm. Mixture. Yeah. Mixture means the result of an action. We mix things to make a mixture. Here we have strawberries, blueberries, milk, and now we have a mixture that we call a smoothie. And finally, we looked at the big one, the one that is the biggest problem and the most difficult to sort out. What was it? What did we look at last week? Plastic. Plastic lasts almost forever. Hmm. Not just past three o'clock, forever. It's almost undestroyable. There's an unlined word again. Yeah, we can't destroy it. Hmm. Scientists are looking for a really good answer to this very big worldwide problem. Another suffix? Ah. But last week we looked at only one suffix. Just one. You could easily spot this one. It's li. So we didn't underline it every time. Hmm. Easy becomes easily. So when do we use li? We add li to an adjective or verb to make an adverb. Yes, adverbs. They're really, really useful. Final is an adjective. It tells us the place something is in a list. Finally is an adverb. It tells us more about the word final. Wow, okay. Finally, we looked at plastic. So let's look at some. Strangely, one big problem is that tops and bottles are often different. Hmm, when we try to recycle plastic, there are lots of different kinds of plastic. Thin, thick, red, clear, green. Separation generally takes a long time. Hmm. A big fan cleverly blows the bottle tops away. Hmm, this is great, but only if we're trying to recycle plastic bottles. A big fan. And it is really, really smart. Hmm, now this is another 
big problem about recycling plastic. It costs a lot of money. Hmm. So, should we spend a lot of money when to make plastic is really cheap? Oh dear, now that's a very difficult question. Do you remember these? Finally. Sadly. Perfectly. Annoyingly. Hopefully. Powerfully. Wow, okay. Well. Finally, we did recycle some plastic. Sadly, it's quite expensive. We can never recycle perfectly. Annoyingly, many people don't even try to recycle. Hopefully, more people will do it in the future. We have to try and tell people as powerfully as we can how important it is. Great words. That was a great job. Well done you. How much of the last six weeks did you remember? Hmm, I'm sure it was quite a lot. It's all new and different next week. Great, what could it be? Now, you go and have a rest and we will see you soon for something very new and different. Just before we go, these two guys would like to say thank you. See you next time. Bye. Thank you for watching our video today. Please don't forget, subscribe, and that will help us to make lots more videos for you. Thank you. Bye.